Montana. It's a big sky country with millions of acres of public land that's home to millions of pheasants, sharp-tailed grouse, and Hungarian partridge. We're after all three within a shotgun blast range of our bird camp. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. Opening day. Two magical words that can make a veteran hunter good. feel like a young kid again. <laughs> On the eve of Montana's pheasant opener, we set home base on a piece of state land not far from the Montana-North Dakota border. Right here, it's gonna be a west wind. That's west, right? And then, no, it's gonna be south. Why don't you, you want to position a little differently. I don't want to listen to this the rest of the week. <laughs> George Lyle. How are you? Ben Bredigan. Ben Bredigan. And Custis Coleman. And I'm Custis. Custis, George Lyle. Nice to see you. All share my passion to chase <laughs> wild birds on public lands. This is a true bird camp, for sure. Out in the middle of a cut wheat field. Fish house, I have my enclosed trailer that I've converted into a camper. Dogs, good friends, and <laughs> it's, this is what bird hunting should be about all the time. It's official. Welcome to Pheasant Camp. With an hour of daylight to spare, we hop across the section line to prime the pump on a piece of Montana's block management property. Block management, it's uh, landowners who let people come out and hunt their land and then are compensated from the state. And this is pretty much how they get paid, so it's really nice and there's a ton of it out in Montana. Got to sign in a booklet and then you have full permission to hunt their lands following their rules they provided. Pheasant season opens tomorrow, exactly one half hour before sunrise, but sharp-tailed grouse and Hungarian partridge are already fair game. Take them. Just like that. Nice shot, Ben. Thank you. We've scratched our itch. <laughs> Here he comes. Montana is such a great upland bird hunting destination because of all the public access we have. We have millions and millions of acres of land that we can hunt here, whether that's state land or federal, or it's private land that's been converted into block management area, which is open to the public. Here we go. On the board? On the board, right at last light. Not a bad way to start it. The next morning, Pheasant season arrives in perfect Montana fashion. Sustained winds blast us at over 40 miles per hour. Punishing. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. But it's okay. opener and we came to hunt. So we've got a full 640 acre section here and we'll just take this draw down. Our plan is right. simple. Hey, happy opener. Face into the wind and follow the dogs. Oh, oh there When you have good dogs, they make up about 80% of you not having to figure it out. You know what I mean? They just show you the way. Ben. Ben. There's a bunch of birds up ahead. Rooster, rooster. Ben, Ben. I saw probably like four or five more that ran and then pitched in just over this ridge. <laughs> Good shot. Thank you. Come on, Herbert. Thank you, mister. We'd normally stop to celebrate Ben's bird. There's a whole bunch in front of us right now, guys. There's a whole bunch Get up, up here. here. But there's just no time. There's a lot of birds right over this hill. They just keep going. And, oh, rooster, welcome to the opener, huh? One point. After another, the birds keep flushing. Rooster. 
Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, pheasants are just that quintessential rush of excitement. Uh, when you're going up to your dog on point, then when it erupts, you're looking for those colors. Rooster! Rooster! Reds and blues and whites, and you know it's a rooster, and you pull up your gun and swing and, and knock it down, and the dog retrieves it back. It just sums up upland hunting kind of in that one moment. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. There, there are some really young birds. It won't be long before these birds wise up. That's why Rooster! we savor Got it. Nice, George. every single flush. Opening day to me is like Christmas morning. Nice bird, buddy. Nice bird. Good girl, mini. Nice retrieve. You get that one? Oh, that little bird dog is about to get a whole lot more. Huns, huns. We're only one hour into this opening day adventure. Right there, Rooster! Oh my God. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition, North Dakota Tourism, Waltons, Benelli, Ruffland Performance Kennels, and by Nutrisource. Boone's on point right here. It's easy to find motivation in a field full of wild birds. Like that, George. Double fisting. It's even easier. All right. Walking alongside Ben Bredigan's dog, Annie. She's a five-year-old Deutsch Drothar that has stolen our hearts. This summer, in July, she had a spinal stroke. For the first month, her back legs were paralyzed and she couldn't, I had to pick her up with a sling to get her out to go to the bathroom, do whatever. Come here, girl. She still drags her right back leg, but because she just has no quit in her, it doesn't matter if she's got three and a half legs. <laughs> Dogs are the best. My good sir. Nice bird, Ben. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna eat good. Oh gosh. That's gonna eat good. This yep. is gonna eat good. There's two more over here that are gonna eat real good. Nice. <laughs> I gotta go pick them up. I'll be right back. Find it. Let's go. Herbie. Right there. Rooster. Oh my gosh, my Whoa. friend. <laughs> I, sh I waited, but I should have waited longer. Good work. First pheasant of the season. <laughs> My goodness, the colors of opening day right there. Yeah. Look at that, spectacular. You don't have to be a millionaire in Montana to hunt these places. You don't have to own a lease or Point. pitch in for private birds or preserve. You can go out and really get into some just fantastic habitat. Oh, oh look at this right here, Huns. big explosion. Huns, Huns. got a big covey of Hungarian partridge. Watch them, Annie. Watch them, oh, there they sit. Sit. Yep, sit. Okay. We'll push this thing right to the end here. There goes a partridge. There they go. Ah, shoot. They landed right up here, though. Oh, there they go, George. Right there, George. They're one of them. Go, Rooster! That was awesome. Huns and then a rooster. Bless her. Bless her beautiful heart. There's so many birds here. Yeah. Public land. Public land. Beautiful. Get a map and do the research. Find the ground. We are having a tremendous time hunting public land, and it's open to everybody. Right here? Oh, yeah, Boone's on point. Hey! <laughs> oh, Brewster! Ah! I'll get the next one. Ten! There goes one, Brewster! 
Dead bird, dead bird, find us, dead bird. Our opening day walk gave us everything we came for. Nice shot. Thank you. And so much more. Well, we'd get in the truck and drive 12, 15 hours to get to some, some of the places you and I have gone. That was phenomenal. It's, it's just was... awesome. After an action-filled morning chasing pheasants and Hungarian partridge, we head to a piece of Montana block management property in search of sharp-tailed grouse. Sharpies are native birds that have a knack for outsmarting even the best bird dogs. It's mid-October and we're hunting public ground, which means these birds are on high alert. When they get up, they make that classic <laughs> sound. It's just a bird that is native to the prairies and because of it, it puts you in fantastic spots. The late season are a little bit harder. One bird will see you and then they all go. On top of that, bird scenting conditions are downright brutal. It's pretty dry this year, like really dry. So scenting conditions, you want to be out in cover early to capture as much uh, overnight moisture as possible. But we enjoy this challenge, hunting wild birds in wide open spaces. Oh, look at that. Look, look at the covey in front. <sighs> oh, whoa. No way. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Oh, there goes one. Oh. Good shot. But just figuring it out is fun. Here, you watch the dogs figure it out too. Here. We may have figured them out. Nicely nice. done, sir. But the reality is that this field is polluted with sharp-tailed grouse. George Lyle, my hero. We got one. That one didn't get to laugh at you, buddy. Good job. That was awesome. Nice birds. The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism, Big Timber Fasteners, Thoroughgood Boots, Sage and Breaker, Truxedo, and by Aluma Trailers. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Plan your journey at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. Oh, there was one out of this one, right here. There are specific moments every hunting season that rise above the rest. Look at that. They're just everywhere. On Montana's windswept prairie. Oh, look at them get up on the hill. I'm surrounded by sharp-tailed grouse. This is a grouse haven. Good dogs. And great friends. Oh. These are the kind of moments we'll remember for a lifetime. This place is unbelievable. <laughs> Windy, but unbelievable. Wild birds and public land. <laughs> Montana's a special place. I mean, we were staring across just a vast prairie, and there's nothing, no houses, no people, no roads. It was just hills, grass, and sharpies. There he goes. Plus, Oski, what do you got? The occasional porcupine. Oh, porcupine right here. I almost walked right into that thing. Come on right at us. There they go. Shoot them. <laughs> well then, look at the feathers. Thank you for not letting George Lyle take that shot. That game hog. <laughs> it's fun to see those big covey rises, and but a lot of the times you're seeing them at 150 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, but it's rewarding because once you get in range and the covey blows up in your face, there's nothing better. Our day ends with a mixed bag of wild birds in the bag. Very nice. Leaving behind far more than we could count. Hundreds. Because every time we came around a corner, 
a dog was working some, some were escaping out the sides as well. What was really nice is we saw all three species. The Montana Slam, as you could call it, you know, you got your pheasants, your sharp tail, and then your Hungarian partridge as well. We wake to a new day with the same old wind. This time, blasting cold air from the northwest. And the wind has found us here in eastern Montana. <laughs> it's just relentless. Um, just wears you out. A mile from camp, we sign in to a new piece of block management property. Another property that we've never hunted. It, it feels like October in Montana today. <laughs> that t-shirt stuff is over. Yeah. We need to walk. Yesterday's success still remains in our minds, but we've hunted enough to know how quickly the tables can turn. Or should I say, how quickly pheasants learn that they're being hunted. These are all wild birds, not a, you know, there's no release birds out in this country. Here. Yeah, so we need so to go we're gonna... towards the cows. Okay. We're gonna go this way, guys. Lock them up there, Boone. Oh. He could be pointing them out of these rocks here. Oh, there goes Rooster. Oh. That's why I brought a lot of shells. <laughs> uh, that, that thing went yeah. straight up. Our opening day magic has clearly worn off. Rooster! <laughs> now I don't feel so bad, boys. 0 for 6. Make that Rooster. 0 for 7. Oh, long shot. <laughs> oh, man. Right on the ridge. There they go. You see them far away? Yeah. The sharp tail. Uh oh, right in front of us, too. Man, these birds are running. That's the reality, right? Oh, yeah, it is a reality. You don't just, not every spot you get out and it just goes together. Nor should it. There goes Hen. Great point. <laughs> wow. Wow. Struggles oh, rooster. Rooster. are an important part oh, shoot. of a great do-it-yourself bird hunting adventure. Need another one, need another one. Pheasants Forever remains committed to protecting and restoring America's wildlife habitat. Join Pheasants Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create healthy habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will make a difference today that will last forever. Hunting can be downright humbling. Rooster! Ah! Oh, he lives to see another day. The challenge is, is all of it. Many just, yeah. And sometimes the easiest shots. Rooster! Simply miss their mark. It's going down. Go down. Fortunately, we have excellent dogs, and this land holds plenty of birds. Rooster! 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 Nice shot! Nice shot, Ben. Minnie doesn't care how many times we miss. She's always there to pick up our slack and our pheasants. She's George Lyle's three-year-old field-bred English cocker. All hunt. She's a bundle of about 18 pounds with a heart that, that must weigh about 100. I got big running, tough pointers, and then Minnie gets out and she steals the show. I mean, she is a machine. There's a whole bunch of birds up ahead, guys. Got it. There goes two more. Hey, look, they're on the hill. There's three on top of the hill. 
Our Big Sky bird hunting adventure has been a team effort. Here we go, windy day roosters. That began when Ben found this prime Eastern Montana state property using his Onyx map. This whole area, I was just on the app and I saw this draw running through here. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a good spot. His hunch was spot on, just like this entire trip. Part of me thinks it's blessed by geography. You know, there's just not that many people out here, but also there's just so much habitat. Montana has millions of acres of public land. Rooster! Just like this. Nice! Open to adventurous hunters. Nice shot. Just like us. Wow. But to me, this is where it's at. Finding the places on the map, again, reading the habitat, and we, and we got it done. It ain't as easy the second day, but it's still fun. <laughs> Look at you guys and all of your pheasants. As it should be, right? But look at that. Yeah. Now, now he's got to come back in November. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Exhausted from two days of bucking straight line winds, we return to camp satisfied and hungry. All right, we're throwing together a little, uh, little gross and some whiskey cream sauce and peach chutney. Ben prepares a meal. Some pheasants, some Sharpie. Oh yeah. Straight out of our game bags. How it's gonna make a mess. <laughs> to bring our hunt full circle. That sweet, you've got like the savory, the cream, and then grouse or pheasant or whatever you have. But first time I made it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so <good>. works. <laughs> well done. Well done, everybody. The chutney you made? Wow. A Montana slam we'll remember for a lifetime. Hunting wild birds with buddies. Oh. <laughs> on land that's open to us all.